struggling with the lock. Alright mate. <laughs> Alright mate. And welcome to today's new video. Fresh brand new place. Can't say where it is, but if you know it, you know it. Some huge fish. Once Shay's uh, tackled his lock issues, you'll go see it. Brand spanking new area, place we've never fished before. It's our first bit of action at the lovely Fish It Bait Social. Shay's just had a nice little run. Probably won't be able to film that in the fish because I've got no tripod or nothing, guys. But yeah. What are we on? GoPro. Yeah, we're on GoPro at the minute. But yeah, guys, we are on the lake that houses the biggest sturgeon in the UK. wonder what Shay's got on the rod. I think it's a car. Yeah, it yeah. seemed like a carpy take, didn't it? Yeah. It was a bit more of a Definitely. no messing about. But anyway, guys, I'll, we'll, we'll show you the fish. But I can't film too much of the fight because of many camera problems. <laughs> that looks like a lovely carp, though. If you want. Uh, uh, it's storage, isn't it? Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, quick update, we lost it. Sorry guys. Shay's not fuming at all. <laughs> <laughs> but as we always say guys, straight back out on the spot. Get the fish on it. Ooh, that's your other rod now. Go on the fish heads. Go on. Go on the sturgeons. That did seem like a little sturgy. Oh, right, look. Something just topped right above your bait. I'll show you a trick that I've been doing as well, guys. I've just been fucking digging out a hole in the middle, putting my boilie like down the back and my weight in there. Ah, I got you. And covering so, it. And then it'll fall on top. Yeah, it seems to just work. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why or how, but it does. There you go. Yeah, it seems to stick to your hands mega, doesn't it, this yeah. stuff? It's because it's crushed boilie, I think. Yeah. It's about 8 o'clock now, guys. Um, if you see us, we've got a fish. If you don't, we will see you in the morning to uh, do some more chatting. Oh. Yeah, sound? Right. Nah. Nah. Gone. Yeah, guys, that's how I know it's going. <laughs> We're being mugged off by the sturge. Hopefully, we'll show you one soon. I'm not fucking happy. <laughs> it is the second day, about 10 o'clock in the morning. Shay's rod has just screamed off. That was that a right was, take, yeah, wasn't that it? Was. I said to Lewis, he just got that. And I goes, Yeah, tried to. You are. Yeah. <laughs> Literally just said to you, did not I? Not a single knock. Yeah. Well, you went Nothing. In the shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, mate. How you doing? Yeah, you do, not, not bad. Yeah. This looks <laughs> final. Final. <laughs> Is it morning carper? Yes, yeah. sorry. Yeah, no, no, it's all right. Yeah, sound, mate. <laughs> Tried it, like, did the same thing that one did for last night. Tried to get me in that reef. Right. Yeah. Putting up a good scrap. Does it feel like? Quite a copy take, yeah, wasn't it?
It is, isn't it? his first fish out of the social. Yeah. You next, hopefully. Hopefully. Beauty, man. Lovely. We'll see what he weighs. Nice. Some are. Sorry, mate. No worries, mate. That's <laughs> bad. Buzzing. Well yeah. done, mate. Well <laughs> done. Off the mark. Happy days. So guys, it is about 8 o'clock on Saturday, it's our final evening here, Shay has literally just lost one. Yeah, unfortunately. Done you in some weird snag over there, didn't it? Yeah, just got underneath something and just rubbed, rubbed me through my opening. Yeah, just in time for the takeaway, as yeah. usual, bloody fish. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to get our baits out, you've just put a uh, cheeky little cat rig on yeah. there, haven't you? So yeah, that's the plan of attack for tonight guys, we're going to stick a cat rig out, see if we can snag a cat in the night. <laughs> Keep fishing as we are, have some grub, and watch a film. Yeah, and hopefully watch a massive sturgeon, yeah. make us eat shit. Literally. Possibly there, you won't be able to see him, but in the distance, he's got a fish on. Even though we haven't caught many fish, it's still been a brilliant weekend, hasn't yeah, it? Still, <laughs> still met some brilliant people. Oh, that was boshing a good one, wasn't it? That? Yeah. Seems to bosh a bit. A bit mad for a car. Did, didn't it? That? But yeah, guys, that's the plan. Hopefully, you'll see us with a big, juicy sturge. Yeah. That's the plan. <laughs> right then people, you join us at the Fish It Bait Social. Oh yes. If you've if you've got us on Facebook you'll have seen the little yeah, video we did last bobs. night and a couple of little bits and bobs but yeah. there's a video just explaining who Fish It Baits are and what we've been up to if you haven't seen that already. Yeah. Um and yeah we've got we our first bit of bait off our um, mate Chris. Yeah. Who owns Fish It Baits. Yeah. Obviously, if you don't know and you ain't watched the, the update video, we are now sponsored by Fish It Baits. And this is our first bit of bait sponsor. Yeah. Um, These boilies are incredible, Rod. Yeah, really good boilies. The, the quality and the, the feel, the smell. I've said it loads, but Everything. they're really soft, but really durable. Yeah. It's like they, they really feel super soft, like almost like you could crush them. But they'll spend hours in the water yeah, won't they? and they'll literally. still be on your hook when you bring them in yeah it's nuts that's um, peanut and tie up and this is crab and krill my personal favorite yeah. at the minute <laughs> 16 mils yeah and yeah. then we've got a bit from the match fishing side which isn't on the website yet i was going to say i don't know if it's available yet but, is it? but it's sort of that's braced yeah pre-made and i've already checked them they are actually really good paste, aren't they? Yeah, they're perfectly mixed. So they might be available for you soon, guys? Yeah, they're perfectly mixed. They're not too hard, not too wet, not too stodgy, not too dry. They're just perfect. If you're a match fisherman, you know how important it is to get your pace right if you want to fish it. Definitely. And they are perfect. They come pre-made and there's, a, there's enough paste in there to fish a match on, um, on the hook. Yeah, unless yeah. you're fishing for massive 30, 20, 30 pound fish in a match, but that's a big match. Yeah. <laughs> um, these, oh well. That's tiger nut and peanut ground mix. Yeah. Again, that's for the match fishing side, but we're still going to try it out yeah. here and now, aren't we? I've opened that sick, wow good. Oh, if only you could smell that, guys. <laughs> I thought you were going to say smell that then, when you <laughs> opened it. Uh, and then we've got 
coconut and cream boilies. Oh, they are 16 millers. I haven't smelled them yet. Oh, yeah, they smell nice. Do they? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. going to have to have a whiff. That's the bag. Nice sealable bag. And yeah. And then you've got. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they smell. I could eat one of them. And then you've got cart forceps as well. Yeah, we've got a pair of them each. They will be a handy tool for, as well, not just for carp, but catfish and stuff like that. Yeah. Because I went the other week with my cousin, and I only caught catfish. Yeah, Mate, yeah. getting the hook out of that was an absolute nightmare. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before, like flavoured sort of pellet. Have you not? Nah, I think that's quite cool. They are good pe flavoured pellets, are. Yeah. They're one of the big upcoming sort of... There's tiger nut and peanut pellets. What are they, four mils? Yeah. Because if you're a match fisherman, you know that, like, whether you want to admit it or not, everyone knows that if you can, you put a glug or something on your pellets. Everyone does, unless if oh, you're so allowed you flavor to. flavour them anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But pre-made, pre-flavoured pellets, it's a good start. Time saver, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, then you've got fake corn, which is actually one of the best pieces of fake corn I've ever used. Yeah, it's like it feels like real corn. I was going to say, if I give that to someone, they'd, they'd think it's a piece of sweet corn, like. Yeah. Um, because you've got, it's hard to explain, you've got, um, what's the best way to describe it? It's, it literally doesn't feel like rubber, like to look at and feel, it feels like sweet corn, it just I've, doesn't pop. I've used a fair few pieces of fake corn, and some are really like latexy. Yeah, I've used one, and I literally was using it on a normal hook and I couldn't get it back off the hook. Yeah, Whereas yeah. Whereas them, they pop through a hair. And come off easy. Come off easily. And your baiting needle goes through nice. Yeah. Because I've done it before. I've torn a piece of corn yeah. apart trying to get my baiting needle. And through. they will come in really handy for us at where we usually go, Kings Nordley, because yeah. the crayfish can't destroy them. Yeah. Um, and then we've got wafters, pop ups, yeah. um, grub pop ups. These are them. That's the tiger nut. They're actually quite good, aren't they? We've had a few runs on them already. Which one are your, your they're mine and your favourites together? Yeah, they are, they are they? they at the minute. I'm the, I'm the um, crab. Yeah, you like the crab and crab yeah. and krill, and I've been using the tiger nut for the yeah. white. And I, that's one there. I'll show you one out of the packet. Lovely pop ups. Again, they last ages. They pop up for ages. But yeah. Yeah, you come back and they're not like. All like full of water and just sinking yeah you know what i mean yeah exactly they take a while it takes them a while to actually take on water yeah that's the white ones i've had a bit of luck on them already but no fish out yet but yeah and the one thing i do like about the wafters as well is that they seem quite natural yeah it seems like a tiger nut or something just sat in the water like yeah you know exactly I mean? yeah they take on water as well but like not too in, much in a bad way that they turn into just a stodge yeah they take on a water so like when you're fishing you've still got the the positives of the wafter but you've got rid of the negatives of wafters because mm -hmm. I've I use wafters for match fishing as well and there's a lot of negatives as well as a lot of positives but with them I've noticed they take on water and they sink like a normal I had them in the side when you were yeah, gone just to watch them, just like. to watch them they sink like it's just a normal boilie but as soon as like, I just put my hand over it like that, like a tail, they waft up brilliantly and they yeah. they take a while to sink back down once they've took a bit of water on. And then obviously without, until they, if they haven't took a bit of water on that, like a normal wafter, mm -hmm. which I like personally. And I will be using them in match fishing as well. Oh yeah. See what I can do. But yeah, there we have it guys. Yeah. There's a little bit about fish it baits and a small, very small selection of the baits that are available. Yeah, if you go on the website, which we'll put the link, link into bio, yep. um, all of this is available. And more, many, many more. Yeah, there's a lot of flavours and a lot of, like, it won't look like, when I first went on the website, it didn't look like there was a lot of options. Yeah, but when but you then, actually click on the baits yeah. and look through, there's so many, yeah. you can get, like, for instance, like, like it even does glugs in the flavours of the, the boilies yeah. that you're looking at and yeah. stuff, like, you just pick a flavour and then the options within that flavour are there, like, yeah. Um, oh, everyone's getting everyone's a fish, getting a fish yeah. on now. Um, yeah, I've just had a fish, got some footage of that. 
Yeah, it was 16 dead, wasn't it? It was, but it looked like a bloody 36. <laughs> yeah, it, it was, was really, really wide. fat, but yeah. it was weird. All of us were like, cynics fighting against me, and we were like, that's that's a 20. Yeah. I pulled it out, carried it over to the um, to the crate, and I thought, why is it so logged? Yeah. That ain't a 20. Like. <laughs> and then I put it in the thing, I thought, and then I looked at it, I thought, that is huge. Like, yeah. Why does it feel so light? Then we weighed it, and it was 16. But we'll drop a picture of that fish in now. Yeah, and yeah, but yeah, we'll um, we're gonna get a new ground bait mixed up because we've run out of what we were using. Mm -hmm. Should we show them that? Show them mixing it up. Yeah, I might as well. We'll cut the camera now, and you'll join us at the bait bucket. Yeah, yeah. That is some bloody good ground bait. Mix that. I like that. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I've got some smashed up halibut pellets. not over wet that it's all sloppy and doesn't get to the bottom yeah not so like dry that it just yeah. sticks to the top it's a nice medium between the two it has to be wet enough to sink dry enough to um, bond yeah I think half a cup more water I do yeah well mm. nah that's all right yeah nah that's that's what you want guys that yeah. sort of can Consistency. As you can see, he's rolled it up in a ball, but if he rubs it, it just goes straight back into, yeah. into the dust again. That's a perfect <laughs> way of how you want your ground bait. See how not a lot's left over. Obviously, if you're putting it out with bag in bags, you've got to do it a little bit differently, but we're bit, using a boat, so. Yeah, it's a bit easier. You just chuck a bit of that in with your rig, <coughs> and we're all good. 
So guys, let's see what Horse. we can air another car. Yeah. Sturger. I'm dying to see a Sturge out of here. Dying like I'm itching for it. Even if I don't catch it, I just want to see one. Yeah, I just want someone to catch one. Yeah. <laughs> we should have gone over there. Yeah, yeah, stay when he has one. You should have. If he gets enough one, I'm going over. Alright then, guys, I'm going to tune you out and I'll tune you back in when we're getting out. Oh, it's about half six in the morning, something like that. The chaise rod is just absolutely belted off. It's down here, whatever it is. Yeah. You are good. Uh -uh. Right, I'm just going to show you guys what rig I'm using and bait. I'm using a piece of the fake corn and a piece of the crab and cr well, one, not a piece of the crab and crow boilies. Um, and then, rig wise, I've got 20 pound cord. Uh, Abrasive, abrasive, abrasive resistant mainline down to a safe zone, hybrid safe zone lead clip leader onto uh, a D hook and a simple, well, a simple blowback D D hook, um, which is braided. The hook length is it's probably around about eight inches, I'd say, three ounce lead. Um, and I'm just putting them on there. Normal bait stock. Nothing. Nothing too ridiculous. If I can. Hello. Could you do us a favour, bro? You know my bag by the door, my little bag? Could you get me a bait stop out of there, if you don't mind? What you get when you shake a lot, dropping bait stops and not being able to put them in. Um, as you open that little bag, oh you got them. Yeah, so stretch. Yeah. Cheers, bro. Nothing complicated, guys. Simple as that. Yeah. That one's running. <laughs> Little frog in here. Is that? Yeah. I noticed he had one in his mouth. He did, didn't he? When you were unhooking it, yeah. Right, they're both going. So, guys actually shaking with that come and got what we came here for yeah. didn't we this thing is the biggest sturgeon i've ever caught <laughs> look at that oh, it is massive Big diamond back. Look at that. Oh. Chris is coming over because uh, he nope. can't really deal with these out the water. Yeah. If that hits the floor, he's going to knock himself straight out. Yeah. But that is one of the most beautiful fish I've ever seen. Yeah. I think I'll be getting a bucket of water to the face, guys. How you doing? Just never. Just play it around as long as you can till come out. Let's have a look. Yeah. I might be able to tell you which one is. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Oh, you got to wait for you to net them? Yeah, I don't, we don't net them. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, that's 28 anyway. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, sound. That's PB for me, sturgeon yeah, wise. Two like that. Yeah. And then there's one that's got, someone's got the scar on it. I have to flip it over. <laughs> no, so that was, yeah, that's 28. Yeah, it's got a bit, it's, you'll, you'll know the difference, it looks like a uh, 
some one of the birds that just tried grabbing hold of it. Yeah, yeah, a bit of a peck at like. So you see the scar on it. Um, but they're both 28, 12. And yeah. You've got one that's 30, which has got a big hump on it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. No difference. So that's cool, yeah. 28, 12, Al. Sound. Yeah, yeah what you do, if you do whatever photos, yeah. just look it up and turn it straight in. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Oh, that's it. Yeah. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, you're getting a bucket as well. Are you having a bucket now? Yeah, I'll have a bucket. Yeah, <laughs> So there we have it guys, 28 pound diamond back. And PB. Soaked. <laughs> 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 Worth it. Yeah, it's so what it's the same as there's two of them like it. 28! <laughs> oh. See that fish was waiting for you. It was. Got there in the end. <laughs> it was worth the wait. It bloody was. What a place. <laughs> oh.